Yay, we are finally here after so many months. <laughs> Opening my number one all-time favorite, one and only Jason Wu Integrity Toys Jean Marshall doll that I have. Um, recapping, you know I got her for our five-year anniversary last August. It's um, March now, 2019. It's been a little while. And uh, it's time to get her out of the box. She's the final one on getting each character. And um, I'm glad I waited. I'm going to probably talk a little bit more about that as we look at her. Or maybe just now. I'm glad I waited. I'm glad I did this in my time. Not in a rush for YouTube. I know it's been a while. Some people think that that's really weird. But um, I like to do it when I can enjoy it. That's all there is to it. This is Calendar Shot. It was made in... 2007 there was about 800 made is the notes I got next to me and the biggest thing and probably why she I know why she did stand out number one she's got the victory rolls I loved that and for two she has a tan I don't know why I just think she looks different from the Ashton Drake ones so that really made her stand out and um, yeah, alas she's here and she will be my dress and play um, Jean doll course she's got the articulations being a um, integrity toys manufactured doll and uh, without further ado I guess that sounds, let me get her out of here she has been removed by somebody I think for pictures only um, we'll see anyway it's time to get her get her out and she's the final one going in all right if you remember as a quick recap of a very long anniversary video, she was supposed to be my only um, minted box and obviously things changed. Do I have my flash on? No. Yes, I do. Okay, so oh wow, her lips are a different shade of red. Her face has changed and her eyebrows are not gray either. That's something I like about this one as well. Um, looking at her, her makeup is quite beautiful. She still has the essence of Jean just modernize in a way that I like better. I really do, um, having now almost a year into this and finding her, um, I definitely do like this version in terms of the face and obviously the articulated body more than the original, although the original is striking. But what I do like about the original stuff, I do like the original clothes more, the Ashton Drake stuff. So that's definitely what I've learned. We'll look at her some more, but I quickly just want to go through these for those who are here for that. Here's a little booklet they give you, which is kind of fun. It's like a little script. Very interesting and very cute. And uh, I haven't read it yet, but I will. Maybe, eventually. You get a towel. And I'm not sure if I mentioned it or when I mentioned it. When I got this, this had her um, director chair on. The one that's in the um, cabinet. And um, it wasn't, I thought it was included, but it wasn't. It was bought separately, but someone stuck it in there. So that was an extra bonus, which is it's a couple more dollars that it didn't, I didn't have to pay for. Probably wouldn't have. Maybe. I don't know. Now, Jibber Jabber. So here's the certificate of authenticity, which does say it is 800. Still don't know what this number means. It's got to be the initials of who put it together. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Again, who cares? 800, though, that's a pretty fair number. I think these are kind of silly now that I've looked at a few in a row. They don't say what the certificate of authenticity is for. So unless you know that, that doesn't really work out so well came with a gen, uh, generalized stand. They're very pretty. I wish they had not. Well, I guess I don't wish anything. They look fine. I'm enjoying the old ones too. So looking at her a little bit more seriously, for one, she has no pantyhose on, which is funny. And she's gonna look funny in the pantyhose because none are quite this shade because she's very near to the high step in Madra. And um, I put a pair of the darkest pantyhose I can find and there's definitely a difference between how the hose looks from here to here. She's a tad bit loose. I'm wondering if the rubber bands in the hips will work. I'll have to look that up the way it does in Barbie often. That's helpful. It's not horribly, but if you shake her, she definitely moves. I guess that's not too bad. These shoes are cute. 
definitely little wedgies my favorite this is the fake leather which looks very realistic even with the stitch marks oh her toenails look really good and then inside you can even see it's lined like satin as if it's real that's a good shoe that should probably last better out of all of them um you've seen her face um she's got those victory rolls which of course are really really cool i'm gonna have to learn how to do it i have done uh g monocle's hair i uh, worked with that this hair is very different and very nice to work with yeah better than Barbie um, for how it sets that's for sure so I don't know what would happen if I pulled this out and what that'll look like but I'm just gonna push it and I forget what these are called but I do remember those I think I remember my grandma wearing them what can I say I wanted to either fix that and or see what was underneath there so here it is she's got curls underneath there there was a stitch in here and it was tucked into her head the way um, Barbie often does. That took me a little while to get that off. Be prepared for that. Um, it was a little bit hard. The hair's got these uh, like ringlet curls, which is pretty standard for that um, era and how they did it. I think I could fix that up. I'm probably not gonna put that back on because of course I wanna dress her in many outfits. I love the, how this is gonna look with the hats. This style of hair was also awesome. So I'm gonna put that back on. I said I'm not gonna put it back on. I'm gonna put it back on for this to see how it fixes and works. But uh, once I'm done here, I'm probably gonna undress her, put her in a bathing suit and um, for easy dressing and non-staining and um, fix this up and put that back to normal. Gosh, I really hope I keep that. And the eyelashes, I think I'm gonna have to fix the eyelashes up a bit. Give me a second to fix that. The easiest thing to put on? No, not really. Maybe I'm being a little impatient too because I know I'm not keeping it on, but it is a neat thing. I will be happy to find out what those are called. Did I just say I was gonna touch up the eyelashes? I'm gonna do her and Una's. Here's what her tag says. Pretty simple, nothing special. Cute little bracelet. Lastly, a very simple outfit. And I was really good with that um, because it's really her I wanted and just being my favorite version. Um, so the outfit didn't really matter, although it's cute on her. What is cool is this waistband thing, which has the little clippies to get off, which is very nice. I wonder if that could go on other outfits. And now you wonder, so it's been almost a year since I got this fascination. I wonder if I can remember, look back and see what the date was that I exactly found that one at the Goodwill at the beginning of this whole story. And um, nothing's changed is what I want to share with you. Absolutely nothing's changed. I still feel exactly the same way as I've went through, researched, found all the different dolls, just looking, see that's flying out. I'll just take it off. Um, nothing's changed for me. It's been really nice this year to spend the money, my doll money on, uh, Grace is obviously just deciding to be a jerk. It's about the only time she is interested in videos with me these days. Isn't that a nice addition? Thanks, Grace. When you get older and look at this, I hope you say, hey, sometimes I was like really rude to my mom. <laughs> maybe she'll say that, maybe not. So anyway, back to it. Nothing has changed one bit. I still love the Jean Marshall dolls. I um, especially still love the era. I was just talking to an eBay seller the other day who has a little fan club, believe it or not. And she mentioned that like Tonner went out of business. As I look for through Tonner and the Tyler Wentworth stuff, I am still 100% where I was that um, that modern stuff is not for me. It is the era of this that makes it really awesome. It makes her and her friends and her fashions really special to me. And um, nothing's changed. It has been an absolute treat to spend my um, dolly dollars um, chasing after her, her friends, and her fashions. And I got a list a mile long. I pretty much like all of them. And uh, we'll slowly pick at those. And I look forward to it. It takes me time because these obviously cost more, as you know. And um, it's worth it. There's deals out there. And um, it's just night. Oh my gosh, every single noise can happen. Airplane, motorcycle, Gracie. Figures. Oh well. I'm keeping it all natural. That's the way it is right now. I want to get her up and uh, maybe fix her hair. I think it would look nicer if I did that. They're just easy ringlets. Oh, that's the same as my um, 
Monster High and regular Mattel doll uh, hair salon ringlets and stuff. Okay, I was enjoying her beauty. So, I haven't really showed a really good, good review, but I hope uh, you've seen enough of her. I do want to do a face-to-face -face comparison with an older one, and um, just so you can see that. If you remember also, as part of my anniversary gift from Miss Alex was this beautiful bride doll who needs a hairstyle fix. But since she's handy, because I do want to show her to you in another video, and I do want to do her hair, I think I'm going to do them both. But I got her here, so what a perfect way to show the Ashton Drake uh, jean face and makeup compared to the integrity and how it changed over the years not crazy different like what a reboot that is um sufficient pretty still honorable to the old and with enough pep of the new i like as i said the eyebrows better being this color and the shape i don't mind missing that pink in this more new one these little dots that are giving it a little extra life to the face is good now in essence of course we know the tan is different but the lipsticks, although I thought they were different, are really quite similar. It just looks different with tan skin. Blush is the same. Eye color even is different, but still passes. Like, what a wonderful change where you're not hating on it. And um, that's wonderful. So there's the comparison. There's my review. I hope you've enjoyed it and enjoyed this story so far. And uh, I think it's time to get that cabinet fixed up. <laughs> First time I fixed their hair. See you next time.